Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 71. All right. So in earlier steps, we learned how to work with the sort method to sort the songs in alphabetical order. Another use case for the callback function is to randomize an array, believe it or not. Uh, one way to randomize an array of items would be to subtract 0.5 from math.random, from the, pardon me, the math.random uh, function. Yeah. Anyway, which produces random values that are either positive or negative. And this makes the comparison result a mix of positive and negative values, leading to a random ordering of elements. All right. So we'd have like const names and it'd be this uh, list of names right here. And when we do names.sort and we have the empty uh, parentheses, then the arrow, then math.random minus 0.5, it'll sort it uh, in a random order. And that's because think about it like this. OK, so let's say the math.random gives us 0.9, right? So 0.9 minus 0.5 is going to be uh, 0.4, right? Of course. And so since they're since that's a positive number, let's say they're comparing Tom and Jessica, they'll switch, right? But if it gives us a 0.4, if math.random gives us 0.4 and subtracts 0.5, that'll give us a negative 0.1, right? So Tom and Jessica will stay the same because it's negative. Remember, if it's negative or zero, they stay the same, but if it's positive, they switch, all right? So that's how this little uh, trick works. So we're going to use the sort method on the user data optional chaining songs array, and we're going to pass a callback method and return the result of math.random minus 0.5. All right. So yeah, we'll start off with user data, data, optional chaining, that, that okay, optional chaining uh, songs. This is my first one today, guys. Uh, <laughs> and my coffee's still cooling down. Sorry. Anyway, uh, user data optional chaining songs dot uh, sort. And then inside here, we're going to have the empty parentheses. We're going to have the arrow like this. Then we'll do the math dot random with the parentheses like this. And then we'll say minus point minus zero point five like that. And then we'll cap it off with a semicolon. Check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 72. And we'll see you next time.